Jua la sasaba Lime waka sana Lina vyo ni choma Nivyo na kazana Jusi wezi lala Nja nikita sama Nina ondoka Nirudishe salama I'm Timothy Yawase, the CEO of Kenya Film Commission. Entertainment is uh, a key essential service to our country through uh, music, film, and uh, spoken word. We are able to deliver a key uniting message to Kenyans as far as COVID is concerned. Concert Nyumbani provides room for Kenyans to be able to see why it's important to be united in curbing uh, COVID-19. Filmmakers are artists. Artists make sure that we are entertained in our homes. But at the same time, uh, it's uh, incumbent us to ensure that we are entertained, but they are also able to put food on the table. And that is the mission the government is driving through Kenya Film Commission. This is the essence of Concert Nyumbani. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you're watching, this is Concert Nyumbani. We're going to be showing you some wonderful stories, uplifting stories of people who are making good in these very, very difficult times. People who are actually going out of their way during these hard economic times and during these hard soulful times. And every performance you see today of music and poetry is dedicated to that service, selfless service of the people, our local heroes, that live among you. They are communities that are going out of their way to actually feed people. We have a story that is going to uplift you and show you just how selfless people can be. We are going to Rongai, to the Hare Krishna community, who are actually feeding 2,400 1995, chairmani wetu umapati das aliniambia niwe nikipeleka gari ikibeba hii chakula. Kawa naenda siku saba kwa siku, Monday to Sunday. Tunabeba masufuria makubwa, watoto kule mwingine anakuja hata na kasuku. Tunawapekulia na wakiona gari tunasikia, hare Krishna wamekuja, hare wamekuja. Na wakati huwa na kwambia wazamani, nilikuwa napatia watoto elfu saba kwa wiki. Lakini siku hizi sababu ya COVID-19 atutaki watoto sasa mambo imegeuka sababu watoto hawajui social distancing. Tunalete wale watu wazima wanatuambia uko na watoto tano, tunakupatia sahani saba sababu ya wewe na watoto wako tano na, na mzee wako. Mara ya kwanza wakati mkoa tunakuja hapa. Mara ya pili wakati waliona hii gari watu walianza kukimbia kutoka kwa sababu hao watu wengi unaona wamekuja hapa hawakutoka hapa. Wengi wametoka pande ile ya barabara sababu waliona hii gari ya repeat na kufa kwa rai. Hata mimi nasikia vizuri sana nikiona hiyo. E, naona kweli sisi tunafanya kazi nzuri tunatumikia wanaume.
with me is a published writer, author, indeed. And she is training to be an IP lawyer, just about to finish. And she is a poet. Now, please tell us a little about the kind of poetry that you're going to be giving us today, and why the particular poem that you've chosen is so wonderful for today. Um, the piece I'm doing today is specifically towards self-love. I feel like when we're younger and we hear you can't love others until you love yourself, at that point in time, you don't understand it. And as you get older, you understand that you can't give yourself selflessly until you're there for yourself selflessly. Ladies and gentlemen, Jazia, or as we like to call her, Jazz. To love unapologetically, wholeheartedly, as though your very existence, because your very existence depended on it. To love is not just to give yourself to someone, but to recognize that you are enough for yourself. Enough in your entirety, your being, your essence and presence, a present wrapped in a big red bow. Worthy of your own time and attention, need for prevention from negative intentions, love as a concept, a feeling, should be experienced with someone you can have and hold for forever, who better than yourself. I know it hasn't come easy, being everything everyone else wants and needs you to be. I know how that pain inside of you festered, became mold, overtook you until your insides became rotten to the core. You have been consumed with so much uncertainty and insecurity, but remember that you are not made for society's consumption. You are everything that you need to be in this moment. So give to others what you have provided to yourself. Eternal warmth. We have love for God, love for yourself, and love for the other people. I've never gone home where well, my family are. I miss them so much, so much. Up next is Mumbi Masharia. She is a spoken word artist, a writer, and a law school graduate. Her poetry covers Africa power, female empowerment, and mental health. And her poetry is the truth. I want to dedicate this next poem to the people out there who are going out of their way to help those around them, even when no one ask them to do it, they don't have to do it, they still find the humanity in them to take time out of their day. We see you. The story of Africa through the African's eyes was the greatest story never told. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how we went from copper, silver and gold to poverty, hunger and young kings out in the cold. See. Africa is the origin, the place where we have history that the rest of the world can try and imitate but could never recreate. So maybe that's why they try to feed us lies like the pyramids were built by aliens. Because the idea that an African mind could be so innovative to them is alien. They downplayed everything we own, took it, flipped it, and made it their own, made us crave their standard of beauty. The whole time taking away our pride was a form of cruelty. Now they say that, well, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have roads, we wouldn't have clothes, and we wouldn't have phones. But I pity you if you think for one second we couldn't have done any of that on our own. We have the skills of the black man in Africa who was wearing hides and skins. They told us that we were uncivilized before they came, but we had emperors and kings, and I would like to believe that the African king still lives. I look at my African brothers and say, 
you do not look like a Tom and you do not look like a John and I do not look like a Lisa but isn't that the type of name they'll want when we're applying for a visa? They took away our names, put our pictures in museums, in frames, made us forget that we are all the same, made us feel ashamed. So go ahead, tell an African king his name is too tough, tell an African queen her hair is too rough, enough is enough. And if I have offended, bring me before whoever you think is greater and tell them my name is Bumbi. It means creator. My name is Priscilla Mtawe Kyoko. I'm a lawyer based in Tala, operating under Priscilla Kyoko and Associates. Corona has affected us because uh, like, uh, the, the courts closed. So because of that, I decided to become positive and do something for the community. There will be a daily curfew from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. So I look at the television and then I see that uh, the update has come. They have closed. There's a roadblock within uh, Nairobi Metropolitan. So I, I, I go to the block, I give them sodas. After that, I speak to these people and they're like, we're hungry. I'm like, can you eat any food? They're like, yeah, anything. So the next day, I get Faith. We go to the block, we take pilau, and we started cooking for a while. Me naitwa Faith Mailo. Priscilla ni rafiki yangu kutoka zamani. Wakati hii corona ilitangazwa na kukawekwa roadblock. Aliniita siku moja it was on a Friday. Akaniambia tutaanza kupikia wa watu. Mimi nikafurahia sana, nikapenda kuserve au au maofisa wa polisi. Tukakuja nyumbani kwa Priscilla tukaanza kupikia chakula pale tunachanga kidogo kidogo tunatafuta chakula tunawapikia kwa nyumba yake My name is Rebecca I'm in the hospitality industry here in Tala running a restaurant and a guest house The partnership that I have with Rebecca is that uh, we agreed because we all had the same intention feeding people that was actually the motto that we agreed so because of that we decided uh, let us do it as a teamwork and it was easier when you have a, a problem shared by three people. So that's how Rebecca has been of, of, of help to us and also by helping to give us the hotel to cook from there. Wakati watu walisikia kwamba niko pale koma ninapatia maafisa wa polisi chakula, wengi walikuja wakanipigia masimu, tukakutana na wengine wakaniambia kwa nini mnaenda kulisha maafisa wa polisi na ni maadui wetu. Mimi nikawaambia nimesikia nifanye hiyo because uhusiano wao kwetu umekuwa mzuri the kind of response that i got from the officers some of them were shocked because they did not expect advocates to do that we are always at logger heads when we go to court what inspired me is because we have uh, three loves we have love for god love for yourself and love for the other people so for me they were not officers i was seen like guys who are just normal people who are working and they required some support because unless we support all of us this convey do not end. Those re three ladies when you wanna feed 40 people per day, man. They wanna imagine. Imagine ugali and you ugali our to 40. <laughs> In a toshanaji. Wow. Mpenzi we usiwe na mashaka Inga wa mashida kesho tu tatobo Kwara to Fura Ipa Moja Nani Napolia, we one Ipa Faraja. Oh no, Tala Nawe, Tala Nawe, Quenye Shida Ama Quenye. From the time it was announced that Corona is with us, I've never gone home where my family are. I've made sure I stay and stay here, waiting and waiting 
that this corona can can go away so that I can go there. So at this moment, I will not go. I'll uh, be patient and wait with a lot of hopes that it will go and leave us so that we can visit our families. I miss them so much, so much, so much. This song goes out to Officer Jackson Sang. Man, we salute you, sir. I'll never forget you, I'll never pretend to Tumepita kwenye jua, tumepita kwenye mvua You've always been so true, since you came through Heri ungejua, mwingine sitajua Sazile mkua zanga sana Picha zina kwanga zamana Yule na panganga ni maulana na sosi wezi ngoja mpaka vile tutaona na 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 vile tutaona na 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 Show me the green light, tell me you're all right. Joko na dawa, umepiga shawa. Deep in this dark night, I'll be your moonlight. Atabila power, tutakuwa sawa. Na kama unaniwa zanga sana. Mina wewe tunafana na Na chua pia wewe nangangana Na so siwe zingoja Mpaka vile tutaona na 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 Vile tutaona na 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 I'll never pretend to No, I'll never forget you oh, oh. I'll never pretend to You've always been so true oh, oh. I'll say your name, baby You've always been coming true oh, oh. I'll never forget you I'll never forget you. Oh, oh, I'll sing your name. I'll never forget you. Oh, oh, I'll say your name. And I will never forget you. Lazima nijue mtoto wa mwenzangu ni kama wa wangu. Nikasema nitajaribu vile nitaweza. Ni make sure watoto wamekaa kwa maplot ndani. Sitawa in the 80s I believe it is was playing uh, hockey and tennis for Kenya. Yeah. And winning medals for Kenya, representing Kenya. And has a BSc in zoology and botany. Like, how do you study She's plants? an environmentalist. <laughs> and now she's a poet. Can you believe it? An award-winning award -winning poet. poet. And playwright. Absolutely. And also, she's worked with World Bank. Consulted with World Bank, um, U UN, USAID. USA. I mean, this lady is absolutely... What hasn't she done? Incredible. As she comes with her poetry, remember, we're celebrating our heroes back at home. We give you... Sitawa Namwalie. Mm. 
You call me Queen of Africa. Correction, I am Queen of the world. Does my bold speaking leave you somewhat surprised? Good. I am glad for your shock. Get ready for more. I'm giving you notice. Enough has been said. Centuries listening to words ooze from your mouth, making claims on my silence as if I were dull. I am tired of oaths extolling one virtue, making me out to be only Barack Obama's poor mama. I am tired of being seen as a good little thing, so true, so pure, so long-suffering. Oh, please, you leave me bristling with your language of pain, your surprising poor wit, and your repeating and repeating and repeating expressions. Long years have I waited for unveiled gaze, to grasp the breath of my virtuoso eye, to spot the swish in my eager round hips, and see the fruit of my inquisitive mind. Instead, you stole my acclaim. I will do it myself. Speak up and be heard. I am African queen, queen of the world. Watch me, watch me sashay down history, seducing the crowds. See me merciless siren in the arms of your man. Remember Queen Sheba, who stole foreign kings? She was I. I have shaped grand inventions from wind, sun, rain, populated continents invoked human thought, built pyramids. My neck grew graceful from balancing time, my back strong and firm, nursing tendrils on rock. What can I not do? What can I not do? I am Queen Africa, queen of the world. All hail, Queen Africa, Queen of the world. All hail, Queen Africa, Queen of the world. Our next inspiring story takes us to Naivasha, where we shall meet Jackson. Jackson is a border border operator who is known around his area for ensuring that kids stay at home. Mimi kwa majina ni Jackson Alwanda, mimi ni mkaji wa Naivasha. Mimi nimeteuliwa na community kwa kaa kama mzee wa nyumba kumi ama chairman wa nyumba kumi na bado nafanya kazi ya moto, motorbike boda boda. Mimi niko na watoto. Sasa nilijaribu kuimagine mtoto wangu hata akiwa mbali hakuna mwenye atafanya nini? Atamulinda. Vile nitafanya na mimi lazima nijue mtoto wa mwenzangu ni kama wa wangu. Nispotek care of that child itakuwa shida kwa community. Hivyo nikasema lazima nitatumikia community hata kama sitalipwa watoto wangu nao huko mbele inakuja wataishi maisha mazuri Wakati janga la corona lilikuja nikasema nitajaribu vile nitaweza ni make sure watoto wamekaa kwa maplot ndani hawa watoto mara ya kwanza tulikuwa tunaongea tu pamoja nikawaambia kuanzia leo ukipata mtoto nje nitashika nipeleke wapi police na wengine nikamwambia nitawapeleka quarantine wengi wa watoto hao watoto ni wale wanaelewa tunafaa tukae kwa mplot tudogo tonya atuelewi huwa nashika kwa watoto mkono kana nionyesha kwao naenda na uone mzazi namwambia sasa huyu mtoto wako unamwachilia nje akishikwa na hii ugonjwa yeye ni mdogo haita affect sana kama vile atakuletea wewe hivyo kana mtoto wako kwa nyumba unajua watoto akukosekanagi kuna wengine vichwa ngumu atukiwaambia waende Naenda tu na nachungulia kwa geti. Kwanza nimetoka kidogo tena wanarudi. Kwa hivyo inabidi na sisi tutumie ukali. Hii hii fimbo hii ni kama nini kama license. Nimezoea kuitembea nayo. Hasa hata watoto wakiona nikitokea pale bila fimbo hawa watoto. 
lakini nikitoka na hii wenyewe wanaenda kwa mafuta Corona imeni affect vibaya zaidi kazi imerudi chini kabisa kitambo ilikuwa nakupata tumefanya kama 1000 lakini saa hii tumefanyia pesa mingi 200 ukuta nimeitwa nime na wazazi sana hiyo 200 sitaweka mafuta at the end of the day nitaingia kwa nyumba ila kitu with this family nakuta maisha inakuwa ngumu hata hao wanaona kama mzazi wao maybe amewaachilia ila kitu inafanya ni sacrifice hivyo hao watoto sasa wakipata ugonjwa nasema wacha nijitolee bora hii covid isha once tunatoka naenda uko nje i must pray god anake siendi kulinda family yangu naenda kulinda kijiji ama supplication yani wao wako na mashida ghetto sana hata msiani hiyo corona imeogopeshi manze mimi niko hapa tu kusensitize community sitaki corona inge kibira juu tunapenda kibira sana hapa ndo home during this season we also have community leaders that are making a difference and this community leader is different Yaani wao wako na mashida ghetto sana. Hata msiani hiyo corona imeogopeshi manze. Mimi niko hapa tu kusensitize community. Sitaki corona inge kibira juu. Tunapenda kibira sana. Hapa ndo home. Mimi naitwa Daniel Lewino Cox, aka Footworks, Mr. Kibira 2017 2018, community leader, versatile artist, recording artist, performing artist. Hii place yenye na wake, ndio exit na entrance ya ghetto. Unaona? Jioni manze utaangalia ni kama magari zinaingia parking. Yaani wase wase wanaingia parking. Asubuhi wase wanatoka bro. So mimi kama community leader nilikama up to na yeye idea nikamwambia wase wake okay, sisi tuwa kama team hapa ni aje to sensitize us a juu place inapita wase wengi. Na wase labda wako na stress mob. So ni labda mkumbushe na microphone aje Buda va mask manze ni jukumu gani unachukua kama mwananchi kupigana na ile janga la covid 19 swali ni je umosha mkono umevaa mask manze alafu vile vile pia ufanya biashara je 
Eh kama bana umehudumia mteja muulize je anaweza kakulipwa na njia elektroniki unaona so ni vitu kama hizo tu naambia ku update tu asewa kitita hapa kuna ma business ninaendelea msee kiingia ghetto wa Juerada ndo hiyo na pia ukiingia ghetto hata kama umetoka tao manze kama ulikuwa umeshikashika mali fulani ama umetoka Mbagadhi hospital huko osha mkono hapa ndo ungie ghetto pia shawa ni bure unaweza shawa Unashika eh rada iko safi usiingize corona ndani ya ghetto because unajua ni kwa nini tunaishi manze door to door Tumeni mko hapa tangu corona ianze manze naambia tu wase tu washe mkono unaona na tu sanitize to buy mask so mimi ushinda hapa daily asubuhi na kuja nafungua ngoma alafu naweka masabuni kwa hizi mand washing station wase wana washa mkono hadi jioni na wacheza ngoma za corona ma, ma jingles pia tume record na wase wa community lugha tofauti tofauti kijaluo kiluya tume record mimi ndo na record huko kwa studio na kama nachezea wase kama msema na fila kuna ngoma ya corona pia na come through tunafungua studio bora tumezingatia usafi binafsi miss the game kitu lakini nashukuru sana wase kama nyinyi mmenijua mme notice kutu kutoka kwa my best time come through mnaenda ku tell the world about food works about kibira town center venye wanafanya job fit mimi ana kuna msema nipe lakini nikipita tu mtaani wa sana nita hadi watu ndio ule ule mso wa corona ndio ule ule mso wa corona So we are at the band hitch underscore AIT the band. You know how we do, you know how we does it. Hope you enjoy the concert Nyumbani au sio? Yes sir. And this one, it's only right. It was special dedication to the man himself. A footwork. Footwork sio man. Because nobody knows your struggle better than your shoes. Ah sio. Big up yourself. Or at the well you see love. It makes you do crazy things. Oh my god. Ask my shoes. Oh my goodness. Uliza kiatu. And what I went through to buy you those rings. Yeah. Ask my shoes. Uliza nene. Uliza kiatu. Sema masaipu. Ninawewe ya pitia. Kukupele katina. Uliza kiatu. Hatina kaderi, nina vyo katafuna Heti ndo ukule baga, pizza uliza kiatu Kina mutu sema as my shoes As my shoes Uliza kiatu Uliza kiatu As my shoes As my shoes So ya ni niko stuck katikati kama ile stick ya mshikaki mimi nampenda huyu mshikaji but kia tunajua story yani vile mimi mtoto nime flash but bado yuko deni ya pop call mimi vile mimi ukanyaga matope kabla nifike kwa lami lele stress mimi upitie kabla nimbongesha kilami yani vile mimi mpandisha taxi alafu naenda kudendia gari ya motion vile mimi mhasolie dikito za promotion vile mimi muita baby Juni juni kimi tangeri o arzgi o kaya ne o momen sa kono me ispela ni vile vile ni metama kati kimbe zuko kasanda kani vile yani kani koko pa ni me kope ni kani koko kani me koko kani kani tisa kani tisa ni me pigana vile mi ni me sagun pakatoja 
nikamchitimine shigiu moja nikamshapa kamisi mwana vi oja eti mimi na wa mahakamani solve vitimbi na bila shaka mashtaka ni vile hata leo dunia kasimama leo dunia kasimama Kenya tasima pamoja yani vile yani kama penzi nyuele ni msiti mpaka nati vile kama penzi kikozi bila shaka niko na TB niko na fiba jona niumiza yani vile kama penzi ni mistari basi muandikia sentence matenzi mpenzi na kuenzi vishenzi niko cheesy crazy mwizi au mapenzi nifunge i'm guilty to testify testify to testify concert nambani to testify au sio I saw the need to help women actually get to hospital, especially at night during the curfew hours. Our next story is a selfless act of kindness. My name is Dr. Jemima Modoni Kadriki. I'm a resident in University of Nairobi doing my postgraduate in obstetrics and gynecology. What inspired me to start helping women, I was noticing from the hospital that babies were being born with very bad outcomes. And um, after carrying a baby for nine months, you really want to have a healthy baby. And when we had a report of someone who had died, uh, it really broke my heart. I realized that there was a gap in terms of um, access to care. I saw the need to help women actually get to hospital, especially at night during the curfew hours. Initially, when I started, um, it would be to connect the patient to uh, whatever help I could get in terms of a vehicle and uh, get them to the facility of choice. It has evolved to become an initiative that we are calling the Wheels for Life where the client or the patient calls um, a toll-free number, 1196. And when they call 1196, they get access to doctors such as myself to actually get advice on what is going on. And uh, we're able to, first of all, really allay anxiety and get to know the status on ground. And if we find that this particular lady is in an emergency or in, an, in any particular agency, then we would call either a cab cab being from Bolt, or we'd call an ambulance, either using rescue or MSF, to get them to hospital. And the hospital would be whatever hospital they had planned to go to immediately. Pregnancy is something that every woman would anticipate that it's part of what they'd have to go through. And you don't want that something that is normal or physiological to, to be something that would take your life. And that really, really broke my heart. And I, I just uh, put it out there on Twitter that if any lady needs any help, that they can reach me. And because the community, pregnancy is a community issue, everyone started retweeting and retweeting. And I started getting calls, such as the one for Penina. Kuna wakati, nilikuwa sina kakitu kabisa kwa hii nyumba. Nikuwa nimepanga, nimeambia njirani yangu, tununue tu wembe, and you are to up a quanumba. Sababu siku at a nasumuni, Namaosi ni pesa, kuna kafu. Sasa and Jemima Nikaona, Nikam Pigia ten a jur Aliniambia at an is idea, a me pigia wakaribu, police, the atakuja kunichukua. 
Pila liniambia ni polisi, mimi nilistuka juu polisi. <laughs> nilistuka sana. Nikajiuliza sasa kutakuwa aje polisi wa umeichukua mtu mali. Nilistuka. Lakini nikajipa moyo. Juu nilikuwa na uchungu. Nikajipeleka tu tukasimama hapo kwa petrol station. Wakatuambia kujeni msiongope ni sisi. Nilikuwa na umwa sana. Polisi alinipeleka mtu ine nikaambiwa mimba yangu ni kidogo. Siwezi jifungulia hapo mtoto anaweza kuwa na shida. Tukatumwa mbagazi. Mbagazi akasimama tu hapo nje asikie chenye nitaambiwa tena. Wakanirudisha tena mtu ine wakaniambia mtu ine wako na wako na mchezo wewe uko sawa. Akanichukua tu tena, akanirudisha. Akaniwacha kama nimepewa kitanda. Jemaima, nashukuru sana kwa ile kazi unafanya. Kwanza mimi umenisaidia sana. Sijui ninge ningesaidika aje hiyo siku. Na kushukuru kwa vile umekuwa ukisaidia watu. Dr. Jemaima, hiyo job unafanya na kusaidia women who are pregnant during this time because yeah. unajua inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa hectic i give thanks i have two kids and i know that pressure that is there mtoto yeah, akitakukuja yeah, actually yeah. i understand that pressure yeah. and dr jemaima you're doing a good job yeah. keep bigger, on doing it bigger, bigger big up yourself. yourself and this song is to you and to everybody else back at home such an awesome song and I'm never lonely I'm in need for such an awesome love he's an awesome God and I wanna tell it to the world ili wajue ni wewe kama si wewe basi nani nia na milodi yako kwa njia anataka kodi ni wewe uta provide na ni nangori moyoni zina ni jaza o nitakuwa fine el shaddai uko na kile minadai ulinipenda hata kama misifai el shaddai el shaddai el shaddai uko na kile minadai ulinipenda hata kama misifai Physically, I 
want you to say this prayer with me because we all know the God who is up above will always provide. So dear Lord, please grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Dear Lord, grant me the courage to change the things I know, I know I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And everybody say, everybody Ukona kile minadai Uli nipena ata kama misifai El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Shaddai Ukona kile minadai Uli nipena ata kama misifai El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Shaddai In terms of uh, this period of COVID-19, really the president and the, the ministry are very keen to ensure that the creative uh, sector continues to grow. And so for us as a government, uh, through the Kenya Film Commission, we want to make sure that we're really supporting the industry, whether it is uh, financially or whether it is really just giving them the platforms that they need to be able to reach everybody. For each of these episodes, we have got more than uh, 60 people that are actually being supported. There is not only the jobs that are being created, but the stories that people need to hear and understand. That, you know, you have Kenyans out there that are giving out and giving themselves, you know, to just saving Kenyan lives, transforming Kenyan lives, and, and you know, they are making some significant sacrifices. So I really want to thank not only those frontline workers and all the work that they're doing, but also the artists who have taken their time in ensuring that they cement this work that is being done by you know, these frontline workers. And I want to thank even the media who have really helped us in uh, sending out this message. And again, to the artists and all those volunteers, frontline volunteers who have actually been doing this thing. We have a great country and we've got great people. We're moving forward. There is hope. We appreciate all the angels out there who are making a difference, trying to help a soul and spreading love and hope during these hard times. Thank you, guys. We want to leave you with encouragement and with hope. And this would have not been possible without the wonderful sponsorship of none other than the Kenya Film Commission. Thank you, guys. You made this message go across the whole country that we can do it together. My name is Moniki Magaria. And my name is Aziad Nasenya. Till we meet next time, be encouraged. Missy, if